unit's not cooling, our compressor's running, our fan motor is not. Now sometimes you can give this a jump start. So let's turn this off and check it out. Here's our run cap dual run capacitor and we're going to check everything out and most capacitors discharge themselves but this is an older unit <laughs> so I'm just going to go between terminals with the metal and discharge it and if it discharges you'll see a spark but as I said most of these that's actually actually in there so we'll have to take off this we'll have to remove this service panel cover now I can pull the cap out maybe so I'm gonna remove our fan wire that's gonna be this brown one that's on the two spade terminal of this dual run capacitor and I'm going to remove our common wires one of the commons goes to the fan the other to the compressor I've got my multimeter I'm going to turn this to the MFD setting or the UF setting on other meters I'm going to put one clip on each terminal to test the microfarads. We should get four if it's good. If it's bad, we'll get less than four. Okay, our capacitor is good. This does not spin freely at all. Now, in an emergency, maybe lubing it up would work for a short term, but I'm gonna replace this motor. And this is an older one, so the chances of it just... And we're gonna loop this up real good. We're even gonna remove this screw completely and shoot in that hole. Screw back before we lose it. And let that marinate for a little bit. While that's soaking in there, I can begin removing the fan motor. Oh boy, these screws are so stupid. Um, none of my, I need an eight millimeter socket and I do not have one. So I'm just gonna try and get this. Oh, this will work. If not, I'll have to remove the, these bars, which is a little bit of a pain, but this would be fine. I mean, it's not like we're dealing with high-end equipment here. Still not coming off. That's where this baby comes in handy. I'll leave a link in the description to this tool. Um, it is a lifesaver in situations like this. I'm gonna back this down till it fits all the way over. Just like that. The angled side in. Center. Now I'm on center. And you want to lubricate this.
Oh, that's like cheating. But that's how it works anyway. Wasn't able to shake it off, but that took it off without even needing a wrench. It probably would have just shaken off, honestly. I'm gonna slide this on. I'm gonna line this up with the flat part of the shaft. Spin. Now just to put the nuts, locking nuts back on. We've got those locking nuts on there as tight as can be. Hooking up the ground screw. Brown goes to the cap terminal. And as far as black and blue, um, one's gonna go to the common. I'm gonna do blue. And then the other one to line one on the contactor. If you have a new contact or if you have a new capacitor in stock, recommend swapping that out whenever doing a motor, but it's not in stock, so it's not happening today or ever. Check out our motor specs real quick before starting. 0 .0, 0 0.8 amps. Amp clamp on our run wire for the fan motor. And let's take a look. Let's fire her up and see how she does. Man, this thing's blowing really good. Run load amps right at point eight. I'm happy with that. Another unit cooling. Thanks for watching. My name's Dave. See you on the next one.